All right, so uh, welcome to the video. Welcome to the, to the stream, guys. Um, so I have a big plan for the stream. This is like kind of like a thing I did for um for TikTok, where I was like you know like drawing. I'm drawing a new profile picture for all my platforms. Um, and so I, I did like a little rough sketch of it on for TikTok, but I'm gonna be working on this for the actual big video. This is gonna be a commentary video um, about why I hate my generation. Because I'm Gen Z, you know, I'm 16 years old, and I absolutely hate my generation. Now, I have a couple topics that I will be talking about in this stream while I draw. The topics are the 97%, the 72 genders, the alt community, trigger warnings, cancel culture, sexualization of minors, and dream stands. Now, since I already talked about that vegan teacher in my last commentary video, I decided let's not, let's not do that. Let's talk about something else. I will be splitting out the video into, um, into parts. So, that guys can choose which part you want to watch. Here we go. Sorry, this is going to be the end of the intro, I guess. But also, I'll, I'll be drawing Mono, um, I guess I'll, I'll be doing the, the scene where Mono is in, in, in like, the, um, the comics Mono, where he's kind of, like, he's hunched over on the tree branch. Uh, so he's kind of, like, his head is a bit like a bit like that. Then it goes kind of like there, like that, like up a bit, kind of like that. I'm gonna do a base outline, then I'm gonna, then then I'll talk like more like in detail about why I hate why I don't like the seventy the ninety two ninety seven percent. That's what it is, ninety seven percent. Alright, so that's basically I'm the base drawing. Alright, so a lot of people, especially if they like, they they follow me on TikTok, they know I, I or like on Twitter, they know I'm like upset about how there's like this whole like new like oh it's 97% of girls get sexually assaulted. Now, I'm not saying that girls don't. They, they, they still do. And so do men, at a, at a lesser extent, but they, that still happens. Um, they, I'm not saying that they don't get sexually assaulted. But, like, I've been taught my entire life that it's more of like one-third of women get raped. And I personally, I believe that statistic because it honestly makes a bit more sense. Like, um, personal example, my sister, I'm not going to say who, not to say which sister, she did get sexually assaulted, like, a long, long time ago. Um, and I know a couple of friends that that's also happened to, like, only one friend that on online that only a couple people will know um and it honestly is sickening that that's happened to people but um the whole 97 percent is seems impossible because only one out of three girls that i know my so i have two sisters and i have a mother um and then i also have two other friends that are girls and that None of the only only my sister has had anything bad happen to her, which honestly makes a lot more sense now. I think Mono's eye is really like right, like here. That's a huge eye. That's a that's a huge eye. All right, but like so, I I didn't want to you know, go into this blind, so I decided to actually look at the website where it says ninety seven percent. And it looked extremely unofficial. It was like, 
like some of some of the some of the points they made were correct. But there was one point that they made that was like, oh, every ten minutes a a girl gets killed, a, a adolescent girl gets killed. I don't think they understand that every minute at least someone dies or is killed. Man or woman. Every minute. Because I'm pretty sure that like for every birth there's at least two deaths that happen at the exact same time. And, you know, probably more. And honestly it's sickening that people believe that the, this oh my Gosh! People believe that this whole thing is true. Now, since like I've talked to my family a lot, and my mom kind of believes it, and I'm like, how? The only girl you've known that has had anything bad happen to her is your is your daughter. I do know another girl that. It has happened to to before. That's like my sister, one of my other sister's friends. Uh, actually, those need to be a bit higher up. But uh, that's again not part of the, not not one out of three. That's like two out of seven. Now, let's see what, what was I going to talk about for this. Hold on a second. There's, there's Mono's eyes. They're, they're a bit bigger, but that's, you know, another rough draft. And, like, it's insane, but I still think it's, it's just insane. So, I did, I did comment on someone's post that it was more like 50% ma max and 30% minimum, but somebody corrected me, and it which makes a lot more sense. It's like 18% in America of girls get sexually assaulted, and 30% worldwide, which honestly makes a lot more sense. Because if you said that 97% of people, and some pe some mentally challenged girls are trying to say that it's 99 or 100%, which is completely wrong, you're trying to say that your dad or your brother or, like, your uncle, I guess uncle is more of a meme, but those people have sexually assaulted you, which in most cases is not true. Um... Like, I'm so mentally challenged sometimes that um, one time, a couple, like a year, a year back, me and my uncle, we were going to go eat, get pizza, and I actually felt a little nervous. Like, he's an amazing guy, but that's because I was young and dumb, and, you know, I was kind of believing the rumors that all uncles are sexual assaulters, which isn't true. And he's an amazing guy. You know, on the way back from the pizza, we stopped by and we gave m money to some homeless people. I don't usually do that because I'm I don't like meeting new people. I'm I'm like that. And, you know, like the eyes aren't actually perfectly circles, so that's okay. What I did it was a bit of a, a bit of a mm, went up and a big one back here. But yeah, so if you, you gotta believe me, the ninety-seven percent is false. All right, what was our what was our next topic? The seventy-two genders. Let's say that. that was my ninety-seven percent debate, which is it really in reality it's only eighteen percent. Now on to the ninety-seven, the, the, the seventy-two genders. Now for this one, I actually have like a thing. I actually have the the um thing pulled up. Shout out to at slow. M E H N alive on Twitter because they're absolutely mentally challenged. They actually believe that there is seventy-two genders. Now a lot of these are jokes, but that look like jokes, which, which is true because, <laughs> like, especially the attack helicopter one. That was one. That one was just a joke that went around for a while. Like, oh yeah, you guys want to identify as this? I'm gonna identify as a, a attack helicopter, and they actually took it. Took our word for it. Nah, no, nah, wait, no, not, not that big of a curve. But, so, I personally believe, as all people should, that there's only two genders. Like, I'm not saying being transgender is wrong. You can, you can be 
what you can be male or female if you want, but there is no three genders or stuff like that. There's no four genders. In some parts of the world, there's there's three genders, four genders, even five genders. Yeah, no, lady, you're crazy. Um, I don't remember what lady I'm quoting, but it was a, a meme a while back that people were making fun of her for this. Um, but it's part of my faith that I believe in the only only seventy only two genders, not seventy two. Now, looking through these genders, um, because you know I also have to I also have to I have to actually talk about them. Uh, people are like so female, male, which makes sense. By gender, which is a they them person. Now, I personally believe that you can't be two genders at once. It doesn't make sense unless you have both a penis and breasts. Then you can't be either gender. You can't be two genders. You you, you can you can have both of them, and then maybe you can be both genders. I personally don't. I also personally don't. You know, separate gender from a sex. So I'll be called cisgender because I. I'm a man, and I identify, I was born a man, and I identify as a man. Which, just calling it another gender is just, just challenging. There's also one called Sheen, which I don't understand what that means. There's one of them that's called Neutroys, that literally just looks like, um, what's that one, Teletubby? That, you know that one that, uh, that has this, and then it goes like that? That, that, that on top of their head, that one Teletubby, is like that, but turn around. Um, so that, that, they literally just got that from Teletubbies. And there's another one called Corn, Intergender, Demi Fiend, Demi Boy, Hellboy, which honestly, Hellboy is an, an amazing, actual, like, um, amazing superhero. I love, I love him in Hellboy. So that's good movies, at least the first two are. Um, gender and non-binary. Now, I've seen people on the internet identify as both non-binary and lesbian. Like, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. You have to be a woman to be lesbian. Uh, so yeah, pangender slash polygender. I don't understand what that means. Um, Epicene, don't understand what that means. Gender fluid. Gender fluid's kind of okay. It's it's part of the whole transgender thing. There's transgender, which people are trying to identify as his own gender, which okay. Will of fire. Will of flippin' fire. What the heck does that even mean? Like, oh yeah, let's identify as an element. I am rock. I'm the rock man. <laughs> There's also third gender, which doesn't make sense. A gender slash genderless, which isn't that just non-binary? Bipolar junction? Transistor? A transistor isn't something that's something for, like, electrical things? And androgen? And here's where... Here's all the funny stuff. Uh, it starts coming into play. I don't know if you can. Hey, hey, hi. I can see me, but... Civil slash attack helicopter. There, and there's also... Demigod. What? Seems you've been reading a bit too much Percy Jackson. Unknown F, which literally is a Pokemon. It's literally a Pokemon. And here's a really funny one. Nazi. People are trying to identify as a Nazi. People who burn, who, who, who burn people alive, who raped, and did horrible things to Jews and other people as well. All right. People are trying to identify as Earth, the planet Earth. What? Now, what the heck is wrong with these people? Ah, uh, yes, let me identify the planet Earth. Oh, yeah, make, make, makes perfect sense. The moon. Oh, yes, I am the moon. Mars. Jupiter. Uh, I don't know if it's a separate... A, se a separatist. 
someone likes Star Wars a bit too much. Stargate, which which actually was a pretty good movie. Stargate was. Um, I wouldn't rate it. Put it in like my top ten, but it's definitely a good, definitely a good movie. And then we get Transom, which just looks like a flipping phoenix. And then mayonnaise. We got mayonnaise. Is mayonnaise an instrument? No, no, Patrick. Yeah, that that's just weird. Between one and three knots southward. That just sounds like a fucking fishing knot. <laughs> and yes, like I mean, I I I've gone fishing. Fishing is fun, in a way. If you have something else to do while you're fishing. By gender androgen and new choice, which I don't another one I don't understand. By gender, third gender and demi boy. Nurgle, gender fluid. Well, so female and male. So there's two gender fluids. A turn off. That's just people who are ugly. <laughs> gender fluid, third gender, and demi girl. Aust <laughs> this can't be real. Australian male. <laughs> and you know what it is? It's just the male. It's just so you know how male is this with the um the whole like the air right there it's that but it's flipped people are taking the joke about australia being upside down way too far all right all right next one next one what's the next one um a gender which is literally looks like sasuke's are uh, the uchiha clan's um flipping um insignia curse of hatred Okay, you're you're hated by people. Makes sense. A gender version gender void. All right. Chaos undivided. That's another one. Hey, that's just edgy. Okay, that that's just extremely edgy. Butch, like the name Butch. We got monsoon, which is a what? That's a, a water storm. People are identifying it as a water storm. All right, all right, right. Also, I probably should start drawing the flipping. The axe. This is just a too funny. Flipping, a flipping water storm. Necron, which a necron is like a book of the of the dead type thing where people can raise the dead from. Um, we have demi gender with third gender. Okay, an assassin, and it's the insignia for Assassin's Creed. Someone liked that game a bit too much. The sun. The flippin' sun. Oh, yes, I'm a giant ball of gas. No, you're fat. <laughs> Mercury, Venus, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. Pluto isn't technically a flippin' planet anymore, which is strange. Zion. The, pla the, the, the city in the Bible that was raised to heaven because they were so righteous. And making fun of that doesn't seem that very righteous, doesn't it? Does it? We have rate of gender fluidity, which is dy over dx. You brought up an algebra. You you brought algebra into gender study. A prince. You identify as a prince. Hoping these people. Oh my gosh. And the final one, which I can't say, because I'm not black. But I will describe it to you guys. Trans N word. And it's a black circle with two eyes. How racist does somebody have to be to do that? And okay, I'm gonna check out this person's Twitter, okay? This person's Twitter. Let's see, what race are you? My gender changes with the weather. Brexit means Brexit. They have 67 followers. Yes, it is. Identify a lot more than me. Their pinned one is... I want to identify as an assassin, but demigod is most likely me. Now, I don't think they've shown their face at all. So I personally don't know what what race they are. But, but by how they flip in... Oh, they also like vegans. What weirdos. By how 
they talk, I'm just going to say, I think they're a white person. Um, turns out having sex with a body in the morgue is illegal. They definitely let, like, the whole Necron thing. Yeah, th this person is mentally deranged. And that's why I don't like that part of our generation. On to the next topic, which is... Alright, so what's the next topic? The alt community. Now, I guess this one actually has... Like, this one's kind of like a subgenre. This one kind of this one kind of holds both trigger warnings and cancel culture in it, but I'll start with like the whole main line all community. And I'll go into details. The um, what was it? what other topics do I have? So then trigger warnings and cancel culture. So with flipping, okay, how do I want to flip my how, how do I want how do I want to flipping? Do I want to have like two arms like this one coming out like? But how do I want to do this? Flipping, this part's confusing, okay? But the whole alt community is just a bunch of blue-haired girls that try and cancel people. And are all mentally flippin' deranged. They... They think... They're, they're, also, they're, they're also part of the 72 genders thing. Because they believe that there are m multiple genders. I'm sorry, I put... That I need my hands that there we go. People complain about how how it's hard to draw hands. No, it isn't. It's very easy to draw hands. Now, feet. That's a different story. Okay, feet. A different story. Hands very hard to draw. Um, I guess that's kind of really like the whole. The, the how though today the whole like overview of um all the alt community I mean it's it's hard to talk about the alt community without going into detail. Now we're on to let's see we're on to trigger warnings. Now the funny thing about me is that I don't get I don't get offended by trigger warnings, or by, by the triggers. What people are saying that there are the triggers. I get offended. I get triggered at the trigger warnings. I am tired of being part of a soft generation that can't handle things. I saw a trigger warning for the color red. The, 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 the color red. How fucking, how fucking mentally challenged are you? You're more mentally challenged than me, who's actually diagnosed as mentally challenged. Okay, I have ADHD and I have anxiety. Okay? I'm, and OCD. I'm mentally challenged, okay? And before you guys go saying that I diagnosed myself with those things, I actually had to take medicine for... I had to take methamphetamine and strazodone and also another... I forgot the anxiety medicine was called. I had to take those for many years. I've actually been able to calm myself a bit so I don't have to take ADHD medicine. Which is so flippin' nice, okay? It, it's so nice not taking medicine, because medicine is disgusting, okay? Anyone who's had medicine, that... They, they... I think they can agree with me that medicine is absolutely the worst thing ever. Okay? Alright, uh, okay. But, so... People... People... Oh, I lost my cap. <clears throat> people slap on these trigger warnings for things that really don't need to have trigger warnings, Okay? Um, like, but what I was saying really, like, the trigger warning for the color red, that's a, that's a bit much, okay? Alt community. That's like, these people can't handle anything, okay? It's extremely, extremely dumb. Little fingers. Now, honestly, I flip an I, I, oh, wait, did I also did I ask to put shipping? Okay, that's actually an eighth, and it, there's actually eight, um, eight, there's eight categories for today's video, fan stream. Alright, so, that's kind of my whole rant. A lot, a lot of these are a bit, a bit, a bit shorter than the, um, the 72 gender, genders one. 
Which, yeah, makes sense. Because that one... That one's a bit... Uh, I don't like wanting to go into detail with all of them. Hand. Holding out a lax, aren't you, Mono? All right. So, the next one we have to talk about... We're 25 minutes in. The next one we have to talk about is... This cancel culture. Now... Cancel culture was made up by a mentally challenged individual. <clears throat> I don't know who. Where they decide, oh, I'm angry at this person. Let's cancel them. All right. All right. You, you get to cancel them, don't you? You have fun with that, all right? You have fun canceling these people who don't deserve to be canceled. Looks like I'm like a really small arm. Flippin, what the heck? What the heck? That kind of makes more sense. Let me like. Not like that. Does that kind of make, make more sense of in, in the whole way that it is? Okay, back to cancel culture. So, people like Jay Schlatt, Dream, um, Aunt Jemima, Land of Lakes, all being canceled for the stupidest things. So, I'm going to kind of go into detail with the Land of Lakes and the whole Aunt Jemima discussion. So, Aunt Jemima was a lady who made this company and was a very successful startup company. So, there's nothing, nothing, nothing wrong with her, okay? She's a black woman uh, who, on a, on a, um, who represents a company, okay? She's a black woman who represents a company. company. Land of Lakes, a Native American woman, who I'm actually a bit part, part Native American on my mom's side, um, a Native American woman who was on the cover of, of a butter, butter tin. Again, she did nothing wrong, but the stupid white alt girls decided, oh my gosh, it's a Native American person on a, on a butter, on a butter box? Let's cancel them. Let's get them removed, because we have opinions that matter. No, it's like a girl's opinions don't matter. They obviously matter. Don't, 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 don't get angry at me. You know, if anything, getting canceled brings you more popularity. That might be a plus. I mean, I don't get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, like, it's just really dumb how people believe that canceling people actually matters. Like, if you don't care, then I don't believe canceling works. But that's just my opinion. That's in the back. All right, so that then there's open the second second arm. All right, so there's just like I think that's mono finished. A bit of a little thing right there. Looking, looking cute. Let me bring it up a bit closer to the camera so you guys can see it better. Um, but it's just, cancel culture doesn't work if you don't care. And honestly, when you look at it, um, these people, they're canceling things that are only people of color. If you search up any, any company that has a white person representing them, like, um, that one, that one from Bagel Shop, I don't remember what Bagel Shop was called, you have Pringles, um, you have Chef Boyardee, you have, um, what's some other ones? Well, you guys, you guys, there's, there's so, there's plenty of people, there's plenty of those. Also, I've been working on Withered, Withered Freddy now. 
Um, but there's there's plenty. Yeah, what's a, what's a good render of him? Oh, what if I what if I did that render? Oh yeah, what if, what if I did the one where he's staring at the camera? Now that's that's a good render. I got put him like put him like right here. There, I'll put him like right, right there, but you know, bigger, a bigger area. You're like. Cause also, you know, also, I have to have six back right here. But, so, if anything, these people are just being racist and canceling people that don't deserve it. That, the canceling people with color. Which, again, is insane and entirely racist. Okay. Um, but, like, let me see. Let me, let me, right, hot, right here, I'll have his little top hat. Right, eyes. Ooh, spooky host. Ooh. Okay, so there's my whole talk on how cancel culture is a bunch of racist, um, dumb people. Next one, we have the sexualization of minors. Now, I hopefully don't want to explain to you guys, or do want to explain to you guys, what Bocono Pico is. Now, people who do know, yeah, it's bad. Boku no Pico is an anime about a a relationship between a grown man and an adult and a young child. I don't know if the child is girl or boy. I because I you know I don't watch it. I'm not a pedophile. But people have decided that I don't get how it's still up on the air. I don't get how a anime that shows that is a sexual relation. I don't actually. I don't, I don't even know if it's a sexual relation because I don't. I don't watched it. So I'm not with them insane. As a relationship between a young child and an adult man is okay. That is okay to stay up because it is not. It is not okay for people to keep that up online. Now, another thing. TikTok. Now, I'm glad that I don't have these things showing up on my For You page, because I mostly just have, like, memes, stuff about, like, Marvel, DC, um, commentary, because I love my commentary, little funny guys, Lil Nas X, because he's always oh, an amazing creator, but I love, I love Lil Nas X's, like, songs and stuff, like, Call Me Maybe, oh, what an absolute bop, um, but... They're, they're just letting the sexualization of minors come up the screen. Charlie D'Amelio is a 16-year-old, and somehow the sexualization of her has gotten her to over 100 million subscribers. She has more, sub she has more, oh, she has more followers on TikTok than PewDiePie does on YouTube. The man who raised us all on, t on YouTube. And... She somehow has more followers than him. Or subscribers, whatever, whatever it is. I honestly don't care. Um, okay, let's, let's add up with them. Okay, there's my rant for the sexualization of minors, because it's obviously a very bad thing that is present in our, opinion, in our society. You see Batman living in society. The sexualization of minors is normal. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's just a thing that really needs to stop, like, immediately, because it's bad. Oh, yeah, the thing on Reddit. That's another thing you can talk about, the pedophilia thing. <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> you're not wrong. But, but yeah, so... The whole, so apparently Reddit decided to hire somebody who had supported these pedophiles. Now that ain't, that is a no-no, Reddit. And every, like for two days, if people, if people ever mentioned that, they, they got banned, like from the entire app. Which ain't a good thing. There's his massive, his massive maw. Ooh, maw. It's ex <clears throat> the maw. Um, but yeah, people were getting banned for talking about this person. Which is a bit insane, if I do say so myself. Now, 
it's just it's crazy how people think that pedophilia is okay. Again, I know somebody who went through a pedophilic act. I'm not going to say who to respect their privacy. If they ever watch this video <gasps> or stream, if they do follow me on here, then they'll understand. They'll know what they'll know who they are, and my friends online will know who they are as well. All right, that's my rant about sexualization of minors and how it's bad. Okay, next thing we have an order business, Dream Stands. Now, if you, as much as, say anything bad on Twitter about Dream, you will be dead. Like, I, I, people will try and kill you because they are obsessed with this Minecraft YouTuber who has not shown his face. What if people, people are obsessed with people who haven't shown their faces? Like, the Swagger Souls. You know, oh, I, uh, makes sense why people are obsessed with him. He's a cool dude. You have Corpse. There's these people that you say anything bad about a creator and they and they will come and try and kill you. Mono is small. He is very small. His whole body is probably the head is probably the size of Wizard Freddy's head. Which is actually kinda crazy, something like whoa. Um But I just they they I personally have gotten attacked by Dream Stands, which is so nice. Um I don't know people who have. But yeah, it's crazy about it's crazy about how be like this one man, or was one person has a following that it, that is just insane. Now I don't know if you guys have listened to his new song, but it's absolute trash. She said he was crying while flipping, while making it. You know, the only things I've cried to is I've cried to this one movie. I don't remember what it's called. It was like where, where like this person like was nice to somebody and like kept on going around, people being nice to each other, and eventually at the end the kid got up and stabbed. And I'm like, I'm like, no. <laughs> it was so sad. It was like, no, why did that kid have to flip and die? But he did. And oh, that's it. It's like, whoa, it's like big. Big. Guy, and it was such a sad movie. Okay, I'm gonna read out what she's got to say. Dream Sand are just 14 year old white girls that just say kill yourself if somebody says something bad about Dream and when they just agree with their opinion. That is true. Also, you spelled the wrong iteration of there, but okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, the it, it, okay, back, back onto the um, what was I talking about? Uh, what was I talking about? You you distracted me. <laughs> um, oh, what was I talking about? I got that weird, like, memory loss thing. I don't know if it's short-term memory, but I think I do have it. What? That is a bit weird. But yeah, um, I just, the whole situation, oh yeah, his, his new song, his new song. Uh, no, I don't, I don't cry at anything. So, you know how people cried when Tony Stark died? In, in, in Endgame, I didn't cry because I don't cry at things. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 just, I just don't cry at things. It's dumb to cry. I lived up, I lived kind of like telling myself not to cry, how it's weak, it's weak people to cry, and I haven't cried in forever. Um, a couple other things that I have cried at, though, I did cry at that one Warriors novel called uh, Yellow... Tales, the yellow tails, it, the yellow, t the yellow tail one, that that one medicine lady, the medicine cat, that one I cried at because the absolute betrayal that happened. Um, another thing I did cry at was your lie in April. If you've ever watched that anime, you will cry. It is the saddest anime I've ever seen. But yeah, it's, it's, it's just it's just sad anime. It's just it's sad. Like, I kind of I like the chorus part of his first song that he created. At what what did the Germans' last message? What do you, what do you mean at the Germans' last message? I don't know what you mean, man. Open. 
But yeah, uh, I so that's my whole talk about Dream Sands, how they're, they're insane 14 year old white girls that. Honestly, I agree with, with Peter Griffin. When he, when he, um, that one episode uh, where like, he was really tall and, be, and the, the girls would go crazy, like, Slender Man, and you just go, like, kill yourself. Like, I don't actually believe suicide's a, a good thing. Don't, don't, don't actually kill yourself, people. Don't do it. It's bad. And I'm not going to go into what I think about suicide and what happens in the afterlife after, you know, kill yourself. I'm not going to go into that because people get angry at me. When in reality, I think what I think is true, but that's just me being weird. All right. The next thing I have to talk about... Oh, it's the final thing. We're on the final part of the video slash stream. Shipping. Shipping people. Now, I'm going to start with the with Mono. Because I've seen some shipping of him with Six. Now, honestly, I think a friend, friend relationship with Mono and Six, it makes sense, all right? Mono and Six as a friend group makes sense. They're children. They shouldn't feel any lust or sexual adoration for each other because that wouldn't make sense. They're children. Their their prefrontal cortex has not developed that far. But but some mentally challenged individuals have decided to ship them. Now I saw a shipping. I saw a post on Game Jolt where these um. This person drew a very a shipping of mono and six. Now, I personally believe that, especially because of the ending of Little Nightmares Two. People who haven't seen that, make sure to go check out that video, that video where I did, did do the ending of it. It's called Betrayal, and it really is betrayal. I think because of that ending, especially any any sort of relationship between mono. And six is absolutely dissolved. Like nothing, nothing is there anymore, because of what Mon did to six. Or six did to Mono. I said Mon did six. Mono, Mono was Mono was good. Now, and they followed me. These people followed me after I disrespected their opinion. Like pretty pog, they followed me. Shout out to them. But I still don't think that it would work out. All right, so that was me delaying. Don't do a juice world. Don't do that. <laughs> but yeah, that just was pretty bad. Yeah, shipping is pretty bad. And like people like the Bakugo Deku ship, ship does not make sense. People are shipping someone who absolutely hates the person's guts, and somebody who is pretty stupid. If you haven't seen the new My Academia episode, it, it's pretty stupid. Um, nothing really interesting happens in it. And that's, like, for all of My Hero Academia, nothing really interesting happens. It's not as good Attack on Titan, which, yay! New video in approximately, like, 13 hours? Yeah, 13 hours of new video. There's a new episode coming out. Which is pretty pog. Alright. A deep Uh, deep. All right. Well, that those teeth are way too skinny, but yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna work on his eyes. Those are something to work on. Like shipping, just shipping and stuff is just a weird thing. But yeah, hopefully you guys can all agree with me that our my generation is the stupidest generation ever. A bunch of snowflakes that can't get anything done. But yeah, I'm gonna end the stream and the video soon. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, yeah, and uh, everyone have a good night. I'm gonna go release this on YouTube, and that's very very early upload. It's like almost one o'clock in the morning. Dang. But yeah, so I'm also gonna do like a time lapse video of this and put it on, up onto TikTok, which doesn't really have my commenting on it, but that's okay. All right. Good night, everyone. Bye bye.